Hello, this is Big Bang Ball, and recently my Angry Bird has uploaded his reaction video on my Tigger's Honey Hunt review, even though he didn't tell me. But anyway, that doesn't really matter. In the description, he says, Please, Cat Icarus, do the review of Tigger's Honey Hunt for the PS1, please! I totally agree on that. Cat Icarus needs to review Tigger's Honey Hunt on the, on the PS1. Tigger's Honey Hunt and Cat Icarus will make a great review. They're just like, perfect. They mold in together so beeping well. It's just so much of a good mix. It just matches so perfectly. I've been requesting it to him for ages now. And he still hasn't reviewed it. And while I am pre while I'm 100% certain, okay, 99.99% certain that Cadagris isn't watching the original video, and by 99.99, I know he's not, but there is the tiniest, tiniest chance in the entire world that he might come across it, but I know for a fact that he won't. But anyway, let's just watch this thingy. <sighs> it's April 25th. Okay. We'll do a reaction video again until we get to the Pac-Man world, and then we should take a break until June. So, what do we do? We're going to do Tigger's Honey Hunt reaction video today by Big Ben Boss. Well, he likes to do his reaction videos very soon, before he even says he'll make them. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I'm just saying. Hello guys, I'm in it. Why I'm too big for this. Uh, my name is Wildstyle, so... Yeah. Live with it. Hey! My name is Princess Kitty Kitty! So today, we'll do a reaction video to Tigger's Honey Hunt. Yeah. So as for this game's very, very, very quick history, as in very quick, as in all of its release dates. The PS1 version came out in 2000, the N64 version came out in 2000, North America in 2001, Europe. The Windows version came out in 2000 in uh, Europe and 2001 in America, and then it got a re-release to the Twin Pack in 2002 in the UK with Donald Duck going quackers. So yeah, that was just a quick, you know, history lesson. Wasn't the most requested video of all time, but that's from the previous time. Since the... He said that Greg's been good for Wrath Cortex uh, reviews. He said it sucks. But we said it's pretty good. Now he said... Uh, I, I don't see how you find that review pretty good. I mean, I maybe it's just because I've watched tons of commentaries and I know what a review should be and you haven't. But it just sucks for a review. If you like it, that's fine, but I just don't see what's so good about it. I just see it as a poor excuse for a review. Well, I, I can call it a review, but not a very good one. Well, at least it's better than Gligo 13 Vids reviews. I, that, I can tell you that. Only decent one, several decent ones, like Tigger's Honey. Yeah, we talk. This is where my reviews actually get better. Because... From my first review to my Ghost and Goblins reviews, they were just dreadful. They kind of called reviews, and from my Crash Bandicoot 1 review to my Super Smash Bros. Melee review, those reviews, while better than the previous ones, still suck a lot. And then I made my Disney Golf review, which actually wasn't that bad, and then my reviews just started getting good, or at the very least, decent. Which is a good thing, because my reviews no longer suck bananas like they used to. So let's just watch this. Please make a reaction video on my Disney Gold review, please. I'll do the Tigger's Oh, and I'd like to see your list of your favourite reviews made by me, as in your favourite giant exciting robot reviews. Surely they'll just be my ten latest reviews, but I don't care, I still want to see it. Great. So let's talk about whiskey. Hmm. Okay, I'll leave. Let's see, it says. Yeah, it's actually made by, like, New Kid Co. Okay, I'm just gonna skip this one. One year after. One, two. Yeah. Yeah. This game, I met and Rayman Games in Rabbit Games. Okay, well, let's just stop with this three state junk. Uh, can I actually die and agree for that? Or I get... Or I get rage for that. Come down here, Katie. Okay, now we 
should do the review. Hello, and this is Big Bang Bot, and today I'll be reviewing Tigger's Honey Hub for the Sony PlayStation. Now, this game also came out on the N64 and PC, but I'm playing the PS1 version. This game was developed by Disney Interactive and Doki Denki Studio, and it was published by New Kid Co. in North America and Ubisoft in Europe. Even from New Kid Co. was still part of a part of the European version. Yes, we get it. So let's continue on. This game has received positive reviews, but what do I think of it? Well, we are about to find out. That's the whole part of a wait. Let's forget it. Let's see. Let's almost forget. It. Okay. We are about to find out. That's the whole part of a review, right? Uh. Well, that means. Actually, the whole point of a review is to tell other people about game and what you think of it. Surely their opinions might be completely different than yours if they actually play it. But you have to try and convince them to either play the game or not play the game. And I say, you play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 on the Game Boy Advance if you want to. Because I hated it for no reason whatsoever back when I reviewed it. Seriously, I hated it for no reason. That is one reason why it's definitely up there in the top 10 worst reviews I've ever seen and since it was made by me that makes me feel ashamed of myself PS3. There's like two, there's like three PS2s in my house. That's right, three. Still give me chills. Like the PS2 always had a best I was meant to cut this out, but I did it. Oh well. Okay, that's pretty weird. My name is Bing Bang That was just me testing the, you know, the sound. See how my voice mixed up with the game's audio. But I forgot to cut it out because I'm an idiot, and I didn't cut it out while I was editing it, so I'm a, I'm definitely a big fat idiot. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> oh my god! Hi, I think I'm on my head. Goodbye. God, you just the running gag. What's next? A any mania joke? He said goodnight, everybody. That's oh yeah, that's an adult joke. Now the game okay. has a very, and I mean a very, very simple story. I'll just let the game explain it for you first. So it's like, oopsie. Think, 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 think. Let me see. Let me see what this day is. It's what? I thought you already did this business. But oh well. <laughs> Tiger. Wait, you call Tiggy no Tigger a tiger? What? That's weird, but whatever. That's a great film. And also, if you a Pooh's Great Adventure, the, the Search for Christopher and Robin. That's a great film. I've never watched that film. And also I have watched a bunch of Winnie the Pooh movies, but not that one. If you if you are like a like eleven years old you should, you're ready. I think you should watch both Pooh's Great Adventure and Winnie the Pooh movie. Yeah, but Pooh's Great Adventure has like scary moments. Maybe, maybe, maybe they got a PG rated. Well, let me see. Okay, let me see. Let me research it. It's rated G. See? G. G rated. Which is cool. G for general Americans. Yeah. The back's in, yeah. Yeah, and also back in the, in the post credit scene, it's actually voiced by some guy. I can't, I can't, I don't know. Maybe we should watch this film and Pooh's Great Adventure at the same time because it's great. Okay, let's... Well, I'm not 11 anymore, but... Hey, if you say these things, then you can say them. Let's, let's put it back. And let's watch it. So, let's again. <laughs> So basically, the story is that Pooh needs more. His Pooh is having a party and he needs more.
any pots for his party, so he sends Tim off to find them. The story is very basic, very basic, and there's not much to comment on it, it's just meh. It's all the friendship begins. Meh. That's a pretty catchy music theme, yeah. Or as I call it, Pooh's are the beautiful enchanted pores, or I call or just, and so the adventure begins. Now this game has simple gameplay. Okay. So basically this game is a... Uh... Here comes the caddy joke! Caddy Chris! Caddy Chris! Joke! That was a terrible impression. I can try, but it's going to be terrible as well. Cadicarus! Yeah, that was terrible. Let's watch it, and then here we go. <laughs> I, I still don't see why I find it funny. I just find that such a catchy joke, which is entertaining to watch. I don't find it funny. Two point five D. Oh, great, I just need to do something. Two point five D. No. Yeah, that's what I was doing, finding that. I didn't actually notice the background music until, like, now. Yeah, like, new Super Mario Brothers, we 2.5D! Or what he, he actually means... 2.5D! Donkey Kong Country Return! And Donkey Kong Country Country Free, that hard game. 2.5D! Singles new Super Mario Brothers game. <sighs> We've done that so many times already. Don't worry, we're not gonna see that as much as you know the favorite game of all time joke that I did in my he, new Super Mario Brothers. You no 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 my Super Mario Three D World review reaction thingy majiggy or whatever. This one brothers one two point five D. He just wants to get as many games that are in 2.5D as possible. This is my brother's too! 2.5D! Hopefully this won't go on forever. Gosh, my voice is pretty loud. And don't forget the game that Caddick was first used that joke in at the footage I has in at the back. And that game is Klonoa. <laughs> or you know, a bunch of other weird names. Klonoa, Klonow, Figgy Vajiggy, I'm not gonna find that, but whatever. Just have a sad face. Wow, you have an awesome 2.5 voice. Well, it's not as good as as <laughs> nothing can be Cadicra saying 2.5D, 2. 2. not even you. Thank you, Annie Kitty. Yeah, that's a great voice for Caddy. Um, yeah, no, but not as good as his original voice. <laughs> Don't worry, we're not going to see this as much as the favourite game of all time thingy. Which I'm not going to, which I'm not going to use again. Huh. Platformer. <laughs> I've always wanted to use a Cadigris joke in my videos. Sorry for ripping you off. I wasn't ripping him off, I was just stealing one of his jokes. <laughs> Let's steal it one more time. <laughs> yeah, that was so satisfying. <laughs>
actually the movie saved me on point A to point B, because point A is the beginning of the movie, and point B is the end of the credits. <laughs> But there's an important part about that. You see the top screen? Yeah, there are honey pots, and there's a then there's a honey pot. <laughs> yeah, honey gum funny, honey funny. And or sunny funny. Unless you play Parappa for the rapper, you probably won't get that. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there? <laughs> Let's go to the next level. Yeah, I remember those lines so well. until now, from my memory. You gain access to rabbit cards, am I? What's the point of having loads of characters if you're going to have like one main one and just keep the other ones just to say random things at random times? I literally forget that they're even in the video. <sighs> so, if you have to at a maximum and try not to play with them while watching the video unless you get super bored. But if you get super bored, just skip the part. I know that you've seen these older ones before, so you might as well just skip the parts that are boring. But you can still do it if you want, I'm just saying that not everyone will enjoy it as much as you. I just want to explain these cards. Cards. The room cards are just scattered along the level the first time you play. You can just find them and they're always there. Before the rabbit cards are offered, you collect all 100 honey pots in a level which you can't get straight away and I'll explain that later. Oh, goodbye. For now. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, it's been like two days since I recorded the last 20 minutes of this, but hey, let's carry on watching this thingy. Oh, wait, I just need to turn it up. Okay, that wasn't funny, but whatever. Okay, let's just talk about it. Piglet's a big movie. It's pretty good, but I think Tigger's the move. The Tigger movie is a lot better, but a Piglet movie is awesome. Just stick with it. Just just watch the great ones, but watch the good ones. Yeah, because this is why. I have not seen those movies in like forever and hey look looks like I'm going to have to put Stimpy Land in anyway because he's going to use a joke and I know it So I'm just preparing myself. It's been a while, has it? Shut up, Stippy lad. You can only say something when I get to the right part. Okay. Let us don't tell that joke, come see. Let us don't tell that joke, come see. Let me find it. Let me find it. Okay. Let's... Let's skip Bye. this. Head back. Especially because we're taking a look at my phone. Wait, Tigger's Honey Hunt is your favorite game full time? No, wait, Super Mario 3D World is. I'm very sorry. I am so sorry, but with that first bit, it just felt like that. And I hope that you're not calling Spyro the Dragon your. Just because it is my <laughs> Because if you are I would be very happy Okay <laughs> Just in case I need to use that joke again Seriously, I thought you said that the Spyro games were your favourite games. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 beep. I am so sorry, you're... But now, it is Super Mario 3D World. Why? Maybe you just replayed and then replayed the Spyro games and you decided they were better. Or, what I think, you're just saying it's... Your... Just because it is my. I'm not stupid, you know. I'm just telling you this. I love it. Okay. And luckily, you won't be hearing it as much as you will be in Super 3D World as in the reaction thingy. Now, I really need to, you know do my own drinking game and counting how many times I say that. Although I will be drinking something safe and not alcohol. I'll be drinking water, even though that kind of spoils the point of a drinking game, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we got that joke. It's a character from the Winnie Pooh, the Pooh franchise. You need to find an item for them. Okay, let's just so you've got to go search for the item. Oh, yeah. Now, sometimes it can be as easy as walking like two or three meters, finding it just like in the first level. He just laughs at random things. He laughs at things that aren't funny. Hmm, that 
Cause that doesn't sound familiar in the slightest. Not at all. Oh my god, let's just carry this thing on. But in a sec. <laughs> That is so annoying. You meet Eeyore at the beginning of the level, and he tells you, Go get my tail, because I'm more depressed than like a 13 vid somehow. And then you have to go all the way to the end of the level, grab the tail, and then go all the way back to Eeyore, who says, Thank you for getting my tail, Tigger. While I still want to commit suicide and I'm still somehow more depressed than Glyga 13 vids, I'll let you do the time challenge in this level. Goodbye. And then you need to go all the way back to the end of the level to finish the level. That is just annoying. This is so annoying. This is the only level to make sure. So, if you want to play your... Well, I don't want to play my... ...at this point in time, but... Hey, I would like to play it sometime in the future again. <laughs> Guaranteed, because you know, after all, it is my... Oh, I forgot to do this stupid thing, I'm so stupid. Ah, there we go. I've already lost count, even though you could probably count how many times I've used that joke. I love you, Stippy Land. No, I didn't. I didn't watch your video except for that. Rap of course, I can the beginning of the level. He likes Stimpy Land. I like Stimpy Land too. He does not like the fact that Stimpy Land does not like Raph Cortex. And if you know Stimpy Land, you, you should know that he hates Raph Cortex. But hey, I went about in that in my Raph Cortex video response thingy, majiggy. Oh, let's just carry on. The end of the level to get the item. It's where you have to go from point A to point B to point A to point B in order to... Yep, I've already explained that, so, yeah. And it doesn't matter because, you know, Eeyore is like the most depressed creature in existence. The second most depressed being Gligo 13 vids. And, yeah, that's just how depressed Eeyore is so he doesn't really want his tail back he kind of wants it back but he just wants but the thing that he wants more than anything is to die yeah it's true it's I know it sounds dark for something for kids but it's true it's a tail joke I told you that I don't want to play my Yet, because you know, I'm making this reaction video, so shush. I think. Okay, let's just get, get to the no, number nine. There you go. So annoying! Okay. This is Tails, let's grab it. Holy! Oh my god! Thank you, Tigger! You screen tree monster! Let's go all the way back to. Eeyore to get our beautiful prize. Even though it's not as satisfying for him as getting killed, all he wants is to die. Same with Gligo 13 vids, but the only difference is that Gligo 13 vids deserves to die. And you know, want to know what the prize is? No, I do not want to do that to a clock. That just sounds disgusting. Plus, clocks can't even get into me because, you know, they're too big and I am not a girl where you can't put a thingy up the thing. Oh, this is getting disgusting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little kitties, but I'm just so sorry. 
but play Rayman Legend, Donkey Kong Country Chronicle Freeze, Pick and Play, and some more 3 World are our... Look at my phone. You're asking us to look at them, but we can't even see them, so we can't look at them. Those are his top four fate. Those are his top four. And I've played three of them, and Pikmin 3 may be interesting, but it's not my type of game, so I got rid of it. And yeah, I'm not going to re obtain it i'm just fine without pikmin i can live without pikmin 3 but rayman legends is definitely a must buy zoom mario 3d world is definitely uh i am so good that i that i will force you to buy the system that i'm on because i am so amazing that i am big bang bottom mikey angry buds so buy me and a wii u you won't regret it unless you're a stupid Call of Duty fan. But even if you are, we've got two Call of Duty games on me. Or on my system. So, go buy me and my Wii and my system, the Wii U. The end. Ali, here's the very comment. Okay, wait. It says, thank you so, you, thank you so much. We work incredibly hard on it for you guys. Oh, that's from BT when I watch Angry the Egg of Darkness. Yeah, I am not a fan of Angry Birds at all. Now, Caddick was recently made on his list on the top 10 games that he doesn't like but everyone else likes, and I definitely agreed with him with Angry Birds. Because, you know, Angry Birds, it can be fun for a few minutes, then it stops being fun. It's just not as good as everyone says it is. I know that 2 billion people have played the game. That's right, 2 billion. Still, that is a lot. I do not. Why does the game have more merchandise than Nintendo did back in the 80s and all of that Star Wars merchandise? There's more Angry Birds merchandise than anything else. And I mean anything else. Angry Birds is like the most advertised thing in existence. It, it was even more advertised than Nintendo and Star Wars. I don't know about combined, but they're still more advertised than them. That is just how popular Angry Birds is. I do not see why it's so popular. It's just a game where you fling birds. It's just average. It can be fun for a bit, but it's just average. I don't see what's so good about the game, and I don't know why 2 billion people People actually downloaded this game and I don't see the point of like the Angry Birds trilogy and the Angry Birds Star Wars games which cost more than all of the games as in the actual apps double it cost more than that can it I definitely agree with Caddick with that also, there are two more things I agree with him with on that list, and that's Call of Duty and Sonic Adventure 2, because, you know, I don't really like those games either. Never play Call of Duty, and while I might like it if I ever do play a Call of Duty game, I still don't see why everyone loves them. And especially since I hear that the later games are just the old games just with new maps. And... As for Sonic Adventure 2, I have played it, and it is flawed, and the controls aren't the best. There's a lot of hitting walls, and it's just not that fun. I do not recommend Sonic Adventure 2 if you're not a Sonic fan, and if you did not grow up with it. I definitely don't. Plus, people call Sonic Adventure 2 the best Sonic game ever, and I say, play Sonic Generations, you stupid idiot. And Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and then you'll regret saying that. But those people might have even had played those games, they'll still say Sonic Adventure 2 is still the best Sonic game ever. Well, you have too much nostalgia to just take off those rose glasses and just play the game regularly. Just please try Sonic Adventure 2 fans, okay? Okay, but and there are two games that should have been on there, but one on there, and that's Minecraft and Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird, I don't even need to say anything. It's like worse than Angry Birds. It's even more overrated than Angry Birds. So I, at the very least, I can see people who are actually addicted to Angry Birds. And but Flappy Bird, what? You just touch the screen to make a bird fly higher. 
It's called suicide. If a game is so bad and so generic and so simple that, it, that people commit suicide over playing it, you should not play that game, sir. You should not. Oh, let's just carry on. A speaker, a shirt, and not plush toys because plush toys. Actually, there's practically Angry Birds everything. And even if there's not everything yet, there will be everything. Just do like that theme park and that movie to be made. But they will exist because they've been confirmed that they will exist. Now, what on earth is next in Flat Me Birds merchandise? Are they going to do like parodies in it and like popular TV shows like in like The Simpsons and Family Guy and maybe South Park? They might do that. I don't, they might do that if they haven't done that already, eventually. Angry Birds have practically taken over the world. I wouldn't be surprised if the world ended by an Angry Bird attacking the planet and then the planet just turning into something that looks like an Angry Bird. That could be how the world ends, you know? And there might even be a planet that, that replaces us that which looks like an Angry Bird. It could happen, guys. It could happen. Are you going to skip the controls? Because if you don't skip them, I'll skip them. Here's what you do. You move over the axis. There's a step to one part, but I'll get to that later. I never mention it. Stupid me. But there's a part in the seventh level where you have to duck to get under this thing. But I think you can even jump over it by, you know, using your super bouncy thingy or getting hit by the water. But it's useless other than that. You can't even crawl, which also makes it useful. Or you no, 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 not useful, useless. I'm stupid. Uh, you can press the Never triangle done. button to bring up your inventory. Just not the not so high, not so awesome. Beep, would anyone want to do that? Good. Uh, he's very into his. And that Stimpy Land joke. I'm into it as well, but hey, whatever. I love it. I love it. Love that game. Looks like they should, and every level looks different from the other. Oh, that owl again. Now, in the game, there are six main levels. Okay, but I forgot about it. Are you saying that the bosses in this game are hard? Then you're an idiot. For the two point five D. Ah, don't you mean? Oh my god! I just need to get the thingy up, and that sucks. Two point five D. Yep, he had to return as well, and he just did. Or there was like easy bosses from Skull Monkey so the A Neverhood sequel. But I tell you about like mm, three top two times in a Rayman Revisited review reaction some stuff. Hey, do I, I don't know what he's talking about, but whatever. I say that bosses well that's because He finds it funny. He just likes hearing people shouting. That's my guess. Okay, then I'm gonna shout. Look at these headphones! I just hit this Oh, they're headphones because I just headphones. Yay! I wonder if he found that funny. I don't know if he did, but if you did, my camera, tell me in the comments. But 
if you don't find it funny, then you don't, then just don't tell me, or tell me that you didn't find it funny. So, you know, I, I was just, I just made my calculations on how you found things funny. Sort of. Ish. What the people said? This is so hilarious. Stop hitting your head on the desk. Please. You're just a toy. You're a leg you're a giant Lego toy. Calm down, Mr. Okay. Now let's do it. So because that your favorite game is spiral is your What? It might be. What? Spyro isn't my... you know... In fact, I thought that Spyro was your... your... Mine is Super Mario 3D World, and because mine is Super Mario 3D World, yours has to be Super Mario 3D World, because you know, you're weird. I know it's Stimpy Lands, but... as a... Spyro, but uh, stop changing your opinions because of other people. Okay, let's just skip to number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. There. I mean, seriously, with Rabbit, you play Simon Says, or Rabbit Says, as it's called in the game. Who you play Pooh Stick. That's right, Pooh Stick is actually. Or what someone else might call it. Who beep? <laughs> yeah, someone might call it if they hate. Call it that if they hate it. Well, not beep as in the word that I mean by beep. As in the, that word that also means poo. <laughs> I don't want. I don't swear, so I'm not saying it. <laughs> in this game. And. Rebel, you play rock, paper, scissors. Which are like. Okay, there is a little bit of skill because you're guessing what the opponent's going to do, but you can kind of see what they're going to do. So if your reflexes are good enough, you could switch and just destroy them if you're lucky. It doesn't require too much skill at all. It just requires luck, but not as but nowhere near as luck as much luck as in the real game because at least you can guess what they're going to do in real life. You have no idea what they're going to do. Unless you can read their mind. Unlike me. Here's why. Because you can practically see what your opponent is doing. I'm like... You know, I'm just going to skip this because, you know, I'm a bit bored. But usually I can win easily and it's barely a memory game. And the AI just seems to suck too. Actually, the AI isn't too bad, but they do try. Yeah, and they're not amazing, let's just say that. Because they don't have a brain. Hey, just like Gliger 13 Vids! And Mario Diploma! And a whole bunch of other stupid idiots on YouTube. Well done, Mr. Trusting the main character of the movie that you're in, since you're the bad guy. If you're in the bad mode, I'm not good mode. Uh, are you sure you will like, get arrested if you say that Piglet is the winner, not you? I will get me. I should melt you. Just to let you know, I was playing as Piglet. I was playing as Piglet. If you're playing it in the mini game section, you can choose your character, and I chose Piglet. I hope that explains everything. Plus, you're going to have to come a very, 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 very long way. Get used to a new time system where you'll get jet lag by the time you get home. And also, you're just a toy, so I could just kick you out the window if I wanted. <laughs> and I could just break you apart because you're Lego. <laughs> hmm. Okay, that's the right Okay, let's see just 
It's just a good thing I remember this stuff. Boring mini games. Because you see, they are the bosses, and when you win, you win the special bounces, which is actually pretty There cool. are some jump. Now let's talk about the music. The music's actually pretty good with, with some good tunes like the map thing. But how about the great music? Uh, Pikmin 3 is my... Look at my... I knew that Pikmin 3 was on your list of your top four favourite games of all time when you decided to exclude Spyro for whatever reason, but... Now you're saying it's your... your ugh, let's just get the clip! And I know I shouldn't be saying this stuff, but whatever... When you were saying that Super Mario 3D World was your... And before that, you were saying that Spyro was your... You can tell me that he played these games gradually afterwards, but I can understand him playing Spyro first, but he obviously, you know, watched the... Oh, it's hard to explain, but... Oh, it's just too hard to explain, but let's just say that he's just confusing. You're such a confusing guy, just make up your mind with your... Or just did what I... Or just do what I did when I was younger, as in not know what my favourite game of all time was, and not decide what it was. But nope, you have to say random things and contradict yourself, and it's just so beeping annoying. Literally had no potential. That had so much potential, but I gave it no potential. I gave it no effort. I literally put in no effort to say, and so the adventure begins. Yeah, that's what I should have said. But instead, I just said it casually, putting no effort into it. That was so much potential. But instead of saying, and so the adventure begins, I just said, and so the adventure begins. I'm an idiot sometimes. Well, my favourite tune has to be the title screen music. Just listen. This is my favourite. My... I'm just gonna skip ahead because, you know, it's just a song. Effects are actually pretty good. The bouncing sounds really nice. Sound effect. I'd like to mention that there are... ...up to the speakers, but whatever! Dreadful <laughs> sound. No, I did not beat the game 174 times. This, that just looks weird. Okay. Okay, that is literally the sound of an angel coming down from heaven. That is just so amazing. Or it's Donald Duck having a giant seizure and screaming at the same time. I just got bored, so I copied the, my 100% file four times. Now on to the voice acting. Voice acting. And I beat it 100% for the review, just to let you know. Voice acting is quite good. It comes from the original cast. Okay, I did not do any research on that. It just sounded like what I remembered from watching the Tigger movie, Piglet's Big movie, and that Easter Pooh movie. E Years and years and years ago, I have no idea where those DVDs have gone. Wait, Tigger's on Tigger's. The Tigger movie was on VHS, and my VHS player broke, so I couldn't watch that anymore. But hey, I don't know. I'm to Piglet's big movie and the, that spring cleaning poo Easter movie thingy. But there's one character who doesn't sound correct. <laughs> Wait, how did he? Wait, he probably just clicked on the keyboard because, you know, that's possible. Oh, 
from like the older Winnie the Pooh movies as in like the very old ones like the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh as or like whatever the first Winnie the Pooh movie was wait that I don't think that would have been part I'm not making any sense maybe that was his voice in Winnie the Pooh things around the time but it just doesn't sound like what I remember in fact I even played Piglet's big game like a bunch of months ago. You know, I've had that game for ages as well. That game and Tigger's Honey Hunt are the two Winnie the Pooh games I've owned forever. And that it, and that game has the Piglet I remember. That game does. This game doesn't. Now maybe it maybe it just sounds weird to me because I haven't seen anything Winnie the Pooh related for ages, but <laughs> tell me. Wait, what's so funny? I have the same experience as uh, with this at school. If some more annoying people... Oh, I just don't want to think about it. Luckily, I'm not, but it is definitely annoying when I do have to handle it. Or, or whatever. Okay, okay, let's just look at Tigger. Tigger, what are you doing? Okay, let's just want to do that. We can't see Tigger. <laughs> He's not as depressed as when you only have one hit left. So why don't you play the game if you want to see that space? I don't want to do that whole game. Oh, what the heck happened? That was... Oh yeah, I only just remember that while I was in it. Oh, I knew a kitty as well. Oh, what's the point of having so many characters if you're going to have like one as the main focus and just leave the others there around? I keep forgetting they're even in there. You can still do it, but I just don't see why it's happening because you have focus on one character and I just completely forget that the other characters are in here. As I remember. Yeah. Now let's move on to the negative parts about this game, and there are a few. First off, like I mentioned before, the minigames suck. There's only three of them. Like I explained, they're so easy and boring. The cards. Let me fully explain why the system sucks. Now, Sorry for my farting, I'm stupid. That's why. Oh, here's the thing. If you miss one card, and I mean just one in a level, you have to collect all of them again. Which really sucks. And the reward for getting all the cards is not good at all. Okay. All the cards do is that they give you pictures of your photo album. Which, let me... Yay! Photos for my photo album! That's so beeping interesting! That is totally worth collecting all the cards for. That is most definitely worthwhile. Not. Tell you there aren't that many of them. I mean, there's four of these cards. Yeah, it's like all of them in a level. You only get one picture. Let's take a movie down for each type of card. That is just so lame, and they don't even affect me. You don't need to tell everyone about the Tigger movie. If they want to know about the movie, they can just look it up themselves or watch the movie. I haven't seen the movie in, like, forever, but, hey, these things happen. Which makes collecting the cards entirely pointless! Yay! Okay, that's pretty rude. Maybe it's well not rude. Oh, thank you. One big... Ooh, I'll start your bag. I uh, I haven't seen you in like minutes and minutes and minutes. Problem I have with this game is that in order to collect everything in the level. Hey Uta Kitty, you're back as well. Yay! Be more involved. Please. If you're going to have more characters in it, 
at the very least make them more involved, and that's not just for some stupid slapstick, but you know, the actual commentating. Are you calling this game your... Now? I'm not even going to complain any further. Well, then that tickles any hand on me or something else. Oh, wait! What is your favourite game? You keep changing it. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Free. That is just solid proof that he's changing his mind. On his either make up your mind or don't have a favorite Just put them in the top four without you know any real ordering is my Okay, I get it. Rayman Legends, Super Mario 3D World, Donkey Kong Country Tropical 3, and um, Pikmin 3. No, not Donkey Kong Country Tropical 3 is free. That's stupid. That's never gonna happen. They're just gonna call Donkey Kong Country something something else. <laughs> That's what they're gonna call the sequels. And they've already done it with this sequel. Although there is such thing as Donkey Kong Country 3. Just please decide your... Wait, that just went out of context. So, his... <laughs> is either Super Mario 3D World, Rayman Legends, Donkey Kong Country, Trouble Freeze, or Pikmin 3. Okay? I get it, but I don't get it enough. I think... Okay, let's just skip that stuff. Okay, I do know. Minimum! Ow, ow! The first... in the video. I'm just telling you for some random reason. <laughs> I just don't like saying that, plus I need to go to the toilet, plus you know I have to do these cup thingies, so whatever. He seriously finds things that I don't really find that funny. Funny. Kinda of reminds me of let's just carry on. And know that I have not met a person called Let's Just Carry On, so shut up. Look at my phone. Now he's just playing that you know. Clip randomly now. Just choose your favorite game of all time, or not choose. It's simple as that. I think I'm okay. Yeah, we got that several times. Several times or seven times. Okay. You can collect all hundred honey pots on your first playthrough. And once you've done your time trial, you can collect both the poo and the rabbit cards. And if you mess up in any of these, you have to prove the level even more times, which gets even more annoying. Anyway, let's let's get to a different floor. An annoying floor is that the game is too beeping short. Now, if it was a terrible game, then. That would be good, because if a bad game is short, 
At the very least, it doesn't last long. But if the game is actually quite decent and if it's extremely short, then it's not really that good. The game could have been better if it was longer. And if it had more creative levels and more creative ideas. The game could have been longer and it could have been more fun with more levels and more interesting mechanics. But no, there's only nine levels. That's not very good. Plus, if you're a speedrunner, you can beat the game in like 30 minutes on the N64. Because there's like no load times. But the load times aren't very long in like the PS1 version, so don't worry. I don't know about the PC version though. Sure, Dan. Maybe we just meant to start Maybe I beat it like three days. Like from the first two worlds, and then the third, fourth, and the fifth. Because it's just way too easy. It's way too easy than some more video world and and remember that and maybe it's uh because I beat the game like like in September third after launch. <clears throat> and so I beat all one hundred percent and get the golden team seat. <laughs> Now he just decides to talk about getting 100% of Rainbow Legends! Okay. Six levels of rain! This is way too hard, but it's hard because you get all 100% of this game because it's way too easy to get 100%. Awesome. It's not the clearest thing in the world that you're talking about Rainbow Legends, just to let you know. Battles, which means you can be Sounds like someone's tired. He just likes reading the annotations and pretending it's like him sometimes. That's just weird. see it clearly because you know your angle's weird and your camera is not the clearest thing in the world and neither is mine and it's not straight but if but I think you're talking about picture where a younger version of me I don't remember what age basically back then I was like almost naked and I practically put pen all over me that was a very long time ago <laughs> And I was very young and stupid, but hey, some of us are dumb, especially if we are mentally disabled slash alienized like me. Yeah, Earth is a tough place, but that has nothing to do with this planet being mean. Nobody never knows. If it I know. But I don't remember when it was. It was just, it was like many years ago. No, I don't remember how old I was in the picture. But it was definitely when I was between the age of 5 and 10, I think. Possibly in the younger part of that, but hey, whatever. I might have been like 6 or 7. Emmett. That seems odd. 
He has a phone as well as in a smartphone. <laughs> beeping kill me. Just please. Beeping kill me. I hate seeing people with phones. I just hate it. I hate it. I despise it. I absolutely hate it. It's just the worst. I just hate seeing this stuff. I just want to die right now. It's kind of strange. It wasn't boring. Because you'd expect only the pure game to suck and be boring. Or well, the mini games were boring, but the main game wasn't boring. It was just sucks that it was so short. <laughs> and there were barely any enemies. <laughs> that and the same slots to represent the four seasons of the year, which is actually pretty cool, even though. Maybe not cool, but just interesting. <laughs> Spring, by the way. He likes to yell spring, I guess. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna yell spring. Spring. Stupid. There, there, wait, there's no spring in my chair. That's lucky. Uh, I was hoping that there's no spring in my chair. Stupid chair. Now here's the weird thing, now Winter actually has a really dark image for its save file picture, and I mean really dark. Now if I was designing it, I would make it all snowy, because that's what Winter's about, snow, snow means Christmas, it means winter, it means cold, it means, it means frozen. <coughs> Snow just is just everything to do with cold in a nutshell, and it's not even in that image. I know you can't see it, but that's because he's a bit mean, I guess. But don't worry, I'm fine with that. Memory card, which does kind of suck. Oh, and by the way, that is winter. There should be snow, but whatever. It's dark in winter, and in winter it does get dark fast, so it makes sense. Now. And there was no snow in the winter where I live. Or practically, or almost anywhere in the UK, so whatevs. I'm just gonna stick with England because the UK just sounds dumb. Although Ukraine sounds a bit better. It's time for the but I don't live in the Ukraine, so whatever. Yeah, angry, okay, angry birds isn't bad, I don't hate it, it's just overrated as B, that's all. Even though Flappy Bird is more overrated than Christianity. I'm not saying I hate Christianity, no I do not, I just don't get religion, let's just say that. And I am kind of Christian-ish thingy, yeah, I mean I'm stuck with like over 10,000 Catholics five days of the week, but... Oh, whatever. It's hard. Well, at the very least, Flappy Bird makes a tiny bit more sense than religion. But Flappy Bird is worse, because at the very least, religion is something that people can look up to, while Flappy Bird is just terrible and just stupid and dumb. Yeah, it's pretty useless. Flappy Bird is hard. If you own Flappy Bird, I recommend you delete it before you, you know, play it more. Uh, or you could just flush your eye thingy, or your smartphone, or your tablet down the toilet. Well, you can't put a tablet down the toilet, but if you have a phone with Flappy Bird on it, just Put it down the toilet. Yeah, it lives down the toilet. Or you could just delete it. You just keep it on there. You just hide it somewhere. You'll never find it.
play your favorite game. How about Pikmin 3, Donkey Kong Country, Jungle Freeze, Rayman Legends, and some more 3D World. Is my... I am the one who is going to play my... Eventually, which is Super Mario 3D World. I just wish that he made a plural version of that. That would help a lot. But, hey, it's not there, so whatever. I love that joke. Are you going to repeat every other It's not a joke. It's a fact. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Shrek is my wife. Actually, that's the weirdest thing I've ever said. I regret saying that. Plus, that does not go with the Shrek is love, Shrek is life thingy, but it should. Sorry. He found what I said stupid. Probably because he found finds the game really easy. Let's just skip this. He needs to review it. This game needs his justice. There are so many things he can comment on, like the bottomless pit in the first level, which is not a bottomless pit that you can survive in. That is something he needs to comment on, along with loads of other random weird things in the game. The reason why I think you should make a review is just because if you, the game is so many bits that would just make a good review. There are so many interesting parts of the game that he can do a review on, and I would be interested to know what he thought of it as well. And I that is he going to go into full detail on his opinions? Yes, no? Please be yes. That's it. Yeah. Bye, Cody and Chris. Didn't do the Tigger's Honey Club review. Either is but hopefully he will one day. If any of you uh, can can actually donate things and you can actually donate things to him or if you know where he lives and if you own a copy of Tickers Honey Hunt, just give him a copy, okay? In, in the, like, in, actually on hold or is that in Belvin Hell? Yeah. Or maybe he's not even making it. Or maybe that the two of us aren't strong enough to make him review it. Because of the lot of like, the lot of like, maybe they should get that game on eBay, maybe even on the good condition on the PlayStation 1 rather than MC4. He likes his games complete, so he's going to buy the game in good condition and complete. Yep, and I'm pretty sure that's pretty cheap online. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe it's a Nintendo fan, I guess. Mm, something. Um, Cadicrus is obviously a PS1 fan. He does not watch enough Cadicrus at all. I've seen, like, almost every single one of his videos except, for, like, his random update video thingies. But I've practically seen everything else that he's made. On his main channel, I, on his second channel, I do not watch his, like, regarding thingies and... Stuff like that, but I do watch some of his stuff on his second channel. <laughs> but certainly, there's no more old caddy videos to come, so that sucks. Which means that there'll be a lot less of so watching the second channel. Great. Okay, maybe maybe he watched like several films, like from, from Sony. Yeah, Sony does. Get their head and bring back Crash Bandicoot and Spyro at the same time. Yep, and do not bring them back in Skylanders because I will not buy that. And make old school new games, yeah. 
Yep, all we need is a brand new Crash game and a brand new Spyro game, which isn't Skylanders, and then some people who are not buying the PS4 might buy one, so we can make it exclusive. They could increase the sales, not that the PS4 is already doing extremely well, but it needs more kid-friendly games. It needs more family-friendly games, not just stupid FPSs. I've been requesting it for ages, so maybe you should start requesting it in all of his videos. Along with me. It's like working on new reviews rather than Tigger's Honeyhound. If he's like doing Tigger's Honeyhound, he will have done it at least. Okay, I'm gonna just sign it right now, ladies. All people want him to do is review Spyro, but. Personally, I don't think that he should review Spyro. Not that I hate Spyro. No, I really, really, really like the Spyro games. Just that they're not the best games that he can review. Everyone knows about those games. Plus, there aren't too many good moments he can make out of it. But Tigger's Honey Hunt, that is, that is a more interesting game. A game that not many people have played. Well, maybe people, a lot of people played it because they did get a platinum release. But love if people want to hear about more interesting games, but instead everyone wants to hear about Spyro. Everyone's just a big fat idiot. Bye. When it comes to Caddick for us. Oh wait, you need to get his head as fell off. Let me fix it. Okay, let me fix it. There, you're okay. And bye. Are you doing it in September or the second week of May? You said September, then the second week of May. That's just weird. Maybe May 7th or May 6th. May 6th. Yeah, you don't know, so bye. He's in love with the camera. That's a bit disgusting. I love you. Is he talking about the camera, or is he talking about the audience, or just me? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, that was only average. Sorry about that, it was just average. As in this thing, it didn't really have any entertaining moments, and it wasn't too fun to make. No wonder I've had a two-day gap between when I started and when I finished. And he didn't even talk about his opinions on my review on the game, which is something that he needs to do in full detail. But hey, this was okay, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe, this is Big Bang Bot, signing out, and there's two more things that we have to see until the world ends. And... I think I've drawn... And then everyone dies. The end. And if you don't believe me that the world is going to end, then this should explain everything. Vib Ribbon, you explain everything. The end.